What's up, Salt Strong Nation? Welcome to the beach. I'm Bama Beach Bump, and I wanna go over three quick things that's gonna help you catch more fish at the beach. You may be doing these things wrong, and I just wanna cover them because I see it happen so much. I've got almost a decade of fishing the beach, and I guided several years. I walk up and down the beach, I talk to people, and these are the three things that I see that happen the most, and people are just not catching fish, or they're not catching the fish that they wanna catch. Maybe the catfish, or things that are just less desirable. But number one, first off, is catch Casting too far. I see way too many people thinking that you have just got to put your baits to Cuba. You got to cast as far as you possibly can. I, I have seen it's. I don't even know how people do this, but they will wade neck deep and then cast their line. In, I, and I, it just every time I see it, I shake my head a little bit while I'm standing on the beach. And a lot of times I'm casting within 10 to 15 yards, just whacking fish. Okay. So we've been filming this beach fishing mastery course, and we go into depth on how to have more success looking at these structures while you're out on the beach so you can whack fish too and make sure that you're not casting just randomly out to Cuba but you're casting in the high percentage zones and catching a lot more fish but number two that I see is people are just using bad rigs you know and what I mean is there's a lot of different rig options and I see a lot of people buying stuff um, we have some terms for it and I'm not going to use them but <laughs> There's rigs that there's, they don't work, man. They don't catch fish. They're too gaudy. There's too much going on. These fish out here, they're usually swimming around in really clean water, and they can see really good. And if they can see your rigs, they're probably not going to bite it. So you want to be discreet. We go over that information in this beach fishing course as well. We're going to help you learn how to tie these rigs, what to look for in these rigs if you're buying them pre-tied, whatever that may be. We go into depth on how to make sure you're doing it right and getting the right stuff out there. But number three, and this is a big one. This, this one I would say is the most important thing to your success while you're beach fishing, and that's making sure you're using good bait. It sounds simple, but a lot of people buy stuff that is just no good. I don't care how good your rigs are. I don't care what water you're fishing. I don't care what gear you have. You can have everything absolutely right, but if you're using bad bait, you're not gonna get a bite. So you gotta make sure you're using fresh baits that are good, that aren't frozen, that haven't been frozen for years, or whatever it may be. You got to have good quality natural baits, which we go into depth in this beach fishing course. We cover all of them, how to rig them. You got to make sure you've got good synthetics. Again, we show you how to rig them. We show you which ones are going to be premier for the surf. You got to check this course out. We go into so much information in this course that's really going to help you catch more fish. But these are three quick things that I think will help you right now. So if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the number one online fishing club in America because we guarantee that we're gonna help you catch more fish, save money on tackle, and make friends fast. So thanks so much for watching and we're hoping to see you in the Insider Family soon.